Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Jordan Young, AKA Sneakonomics, back with another Certified Hood Classic. In today's banger, I am once again going to be withdrawing a pair of shoes from a box and telling you what I think about them. These are the Saucony Grid Shadow 2 in the Creek Marsh colorway. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw pictures of these online, I legit thought these were some kind of limited collab. I jumped onto the Saucony website and to my surprise, they were sitting, they were 130 35 pounds, 140 all in shipping, around $150. And there are still plenty of sizes sitting on the Saucony website as I film this video. Saucony Grid Shadow 2 is kind of in a moment of renaissance right now. Saucony have been putting a lot of energy into revamping this model, and they've been doing it with the pretty sterling, it has to be said, helping hand of J Tips. And me being a sucker for green and eager to try out the model, had to get them in hands. And so, starting off with the box. The box, as with most boxes, has fantastically straight edges, sharp corners, and three dimensions. You can see the box takes its inspiration from the great outdoors. You've kind of got a bird's eye view of a nature reserve of some description with pine trees, fields, walking paths, rivers. It's a pretty cool box and immediately sets the sneaker aside from just any old regular GR. Digging into the shoes, I think this model is a really good looking runner. Really good lines, really nice sweeps, nice chunky midsole. It's a really, really good looking running shoe in my opinion. In terms of the colorway you've got a variety of different greens as well as some sky blues, some clear water type action. You have a really nice mixture of high quality materials. You've got a really nice perforated leather here on the vamp. This botanical print features on this green leather that wraps around the bottom of the shoe. You've also got these really nice green hairy suede pine green accents on the eyelets and the Saucony logo on the lateral and the medial side. A nice soft gray leather that runs underneath the botanical prints. And then a lighter leather that complements the upper. You also have a really nice perforated leather on the tongue and the Saucony branding on the tag features once again this botanical theme. Finishing it off, you have the creamy midsole, which is really squishy to the touch. And then this translucent blue outsole that is supposed to represent the water. All in all, the colorway is really good. The materials are really nice feeling. I love the fact that the perforated leather around the toe area comes pre-creased. <laughs> You also have a really nice soft insole that also features some really nice detailing. Quality control is pretty good. Stitching is all correct. There's no flagrant glue marks. It's a well put together shoe. And so the only thing left to do is to chuck them on and see how they look on feet and feel how they feel. fits I found these to run quite small I would recommend either going true to size or going a half size up in terms of the comfort I found these really comfy they're actually really light the insole gives a nice level of squishiness underfoot and the construction of the shoe seems to complement the arch so while walking around jumping around dancing around I actually found these to be really nice feeling all in all I think it's a really nice shoe the type of shoe you could pretty much put on straight away and enjoy a full day out walking Really good looking shoe that I can imagine being easy to match up with a whole bunch of fits. And I think it's a nice colorway to be taking in to the fall, autumn slash winter season. And at 135 pounds, it's kind of right in the same kind of ballpark as a lot of Asics and a lot of Adidas runners and Nike runners. So if you fancy wearing something that you're not gonna see everybody else wearing. These are a really good option in my opinion. I do also think that this model is on the up and up, especially with these J-Tips collabs and with people getting fatigued with other brands. I feel like the Saucony Grid Shadow 2 could potentially be a sneaker to look out for further down the line. And so I'm not trying to pretend to be the guy to put you on, 
But honestly, after getting them in hand and after putting them on feet, I definitely rate these a lot. And I'll be looking forward to banging these out in the upcoming days. Feel free to let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments. Thank you as always for taking the time to watch the video. Please hit the like button before you bounce and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care for now and peace.